Uh, today's been a horrible day. I have no inspiration on what wine I'm going to review next. What? Do a rosé? Okay. I can do rosé. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. I'm back today. Uh, I got a little inspiration from somewhere, and I'm going to actually be doing a rosé today. So, today's wine is the Mendoza Station 2015 Rosé. Uh, it's from Argentina, specifically Mendoza, Argentina. 13% alcohol by volume, and it looked very interesting. I got this at Total Wines uh, for $6.00. So it's well under the $10 price point. Um, and to be honest, I'm not a big fan of rosés, but I always need to try new things, right? Just as you should. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, I already have a sample port, so let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. Um, and it's very interesting from a fact of, um, it actually looks more golden uh, once you pour it into a glass than it looks like a rosé. Um, I'm not necessarily certain what that means to be quite honest but it um it's just very interesting the bottle itself kind of looks the same way and it's just it's not a trick of the bottle it's just the wine is more of a gold color than a rose color which is a little bit interesting to me um the rosés i've had in the past were definitively pink and this is not that way so going on to uh smelling it Very interesting. Um, not in a bad way at all, though. Uh, very, very floral. Um, there's some sort of red fruit note. Um, that's there. It's not maybe a berry. Red, some sort of red berry. It's hard to tell because there's not a lot of aromatics that are going on. Kind of swirling, trying to get let it open up a little bit more. It helped a little bit. I can't tell, there's some sort of red berry. I can't tell what it is. I'm not on, not on the nose. Um, but that's because I'm basically smells like a bouquet of flowers in here. Uh, all right, I'll go ahead, uh, take a sip out of my trusty Govino. Okay. Um, I'd say there's probably about a medium acid on that. Um, I am. I'm going to shoot for strawberry on the flavoring for this. Um, I could totally be wrong, but I'm 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 going to lean towards strawberry, and it's a very light, um, a very light note of strawberry. Um, it essentially is like drinking a bouquet of flowers, like. I, have you ever seen, uh, I'm sure you have, if you've gone to a store, uh, like a flower store, and they have all of the water and everything that the flowers sit in before you purchase them, and then you take them out of the vase, or you do whatever you do to go home, this tastes probably like flower water. Like, not, I, it's not bad. Um, it's just really, really powerful essence of floral aspects i mean i can't even use words and things right now there's just so many flowers um it's it's not bad it's just uh i do like the fact that it's it's mostly dry for the most part um it's not a horrible horrible thing um it's not bad it's not bad it's it's not impressive. I probably graded an eh, just because it's it's middle of the road. For six dollars, not a bad point to get. Um, there might be more impressive options at a little bit of a prior higher price point. I'd probably have to get a couple of different manufacturers of six dollar bottles and compare them side to side in order to really be able to say if this was the standout. Um, 
but it's not bad. I wouldn't I wouldn't throw it away. I'll probably sit and have a glass or two of this uh, as I'm as I'm doing post edits on it, just because it's it's not super sweet, and um, it actually has a decent finish. It probably has got like a a short to mediumish finish, which which is quite nice actually. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna rate this an A. Eh. Uh, on my scale. Yeah, so if I'm going to continue uh, to drink this or uh, purchase more bottles, I'd probably want to pair it with something. Uh, by doing that, I'm looking at probably doing some so sort of a shellfish dish or uh, fish itself, um, like a white fish. I wouldn't want to pair it with a heavy fish. I don't I don't think it would necessarily sit well with that. I don't know if there's enough acid to cut through some of the oil that you would get in something like a salmon, uh, but maybe like a white fish, like a, a pagnaceous or a tilapia would be good with it, or shrimp. Some of those other uh, tasty crustaceans that are in the ocean would be fantastic as well. This has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked the video today, please make sure you hit the like button below. If you didn't like it, let me know as well. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please go ahead. I'm always looking for more subscribers and to make comments. Uh, just become engaged with the channel. Let me know what you're interested in. I'll try to go see if I can find some of those wines and bring them in. Um, if there's something that you want me to review from a product standpoint, let me know. Uh, and also make sure you go back and take a look at the previous videos I've shot. So uh, yeah, anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime signing off. Have a great day.